sing this too. Flowers, stem, leaves, and roots. Hi friends, it's Miss Melissa here with Kid Ventures. We're here to do another fun game for today. We are learning about flowers. So we wanted to do some fun sensory stuff for you guys to do at home with your families and think about the parts of the flower. So real quick, we're gonna go over the parts of the flower, like the cool song we were just listening to. So this is a flower I drew. These parts of the flower are called the petals. These can be different colors, they can be different shapes, they're all sorts of fun. This long one is called a stem. And then the leaves, and then down under the dirt is called the roots. So I brought some fun food for my kitchen, and you guys can find stuff too, to try and think about ways we can make the different parts of the flower out of food. But first, I'm gonna go ahead and draw on a piece of paper and some markers. I'm gonna draw this on my paper so I can just line it up. You guys don't have to do that at home. You can do just making it out of the fruit or you can draw. So I'm gonna draw real quick. First drawing the stem and then I'm gonna draw the flower part and the petals. and then the leaves, and then the roots. So my friends, I just drew it just to kind of see what I'm using, but you don't have to. So then I'm gonna take my stuff that I found. So first thing I found was some apples, because everybody loves apples, and I thought it would be kind of fun to make the petals out of apples. So I'm gonna make some petals. And then I thought it would be kind of fun for the center of the circle to put some maybe a blueberry in the center. And then the long stem, I thought it would be kind of fun for dinner last night. I had some asparagus, so they were left over, and I thought it would be kind of fun to make that the root. And then I thought it would be fun to use some spinach leaves, because I love spinach as the leaves. I have really big spinach leaves. Little one, big one, look at that. <laughs> and then I thought for the roots down below, since the roots are kind of like stringy looking, I thought some leftover spaghetti. So then you can make some lines with the spaghetti. So you guys can make your own flowers. And if you wanna come up closer and see my flower, that I made. So I got the apples, the blueberries, the spinach, the asparagus, and the roots. That's one way to make it. Another way is maybe put this away real quick. My spaghetti feels slimy and sticky, kind of like roots underneath the ground too. That's what's also fun families to do with the food is kind of like a sensory so you can feel the different types of things. So the blueberries might be kind of squishy, the asparagus are kind of rough, they have bumps on them. The spinach is kind of leafy feeling and soft. And then we have some apples that are crunchy feeling. So another way we could do it is I thought it would be fun to use strawberries as the petals. So I'm gonna use some strawberries this time. And I love strawberries, so this is definitely a fun. And I kind of cut them in different ways. I cut them in circles and I cut them in little triangles too. All different sizes too. So we can make a strawberry flower. And this one kind of has a big circle, so I thought about using a bunch of little blueberries in the middle. And this time, I'm gonna line the root up with some apples. It's kind of tough, you have to kind of balance it, it's fun. Oh, that one fell, see? And then maybe for the root, for the leaves, you could even use a piece of orange you could use. I didn't cut up the orange, but you can kind of use that for fun. You can also use more apples for the leaves. Or you could use some more blueberries for leaves. There could be lots of little leaves. It just depends on the type of flower. And then again, I like to use the spaghetti as little roots. So 
So my friends, this is my fun activity that I like to do with food and make it into little flowers. You guys can make your own crafts. You can use anything you want. Like I said, I brought some spaghetti, some apples, some salad, some blueberries, some strawberries. Orange is always yummy. So why don't you guys try it at home and then let me know how much fun you have in families. You can use anything in your kitchen. Anything is fun. It's sensory. It's all sorts of cool. So have fun friends and see you next time. Bye.